uh, welcome. Uh, first of all, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us for today's webinar. Uh, I am uh, Agung Purniawan from Department of Material and uh, Metallurgy Engineering, ITS. Uh, today we are uh, presenting uh, by title uh, Route to Surface Engineering, uh, presented by uh, Dr. Hamiza bin Muhammad Zaki. Uh, before we start, I would like to uh, brief, uh, explain or inform, is, inform about uh, our uh, presenter today, uh, Dr. Hamiza Binti Muhammad Zaki. Uh, he's, uh, she, she finished bachelor of uh, in from uh, industrial chemistry uh, university technology malaysia johor utm yeah i was there uh, also um master of science from utm also uh, 1999 and doctor of philosophy chemistry from uh, the university of manchester uh she is a uh, uh, current professional uh, membership Ahli Institute Kimia Malaysia, IKM, uh, American Chemistry Associ uh, Society, ACS member, and Radiation uh, Protection Officer uh, license. Start from 2014 until uh, now. And uh, current uh, Position, she's a lecturer uh, in, at University of Nogimara, Sahalam Selangor. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, research and publication related to uh, chemistry. Yeah. And the last uh, publication uh, from Junior uh, Sign Letter uh, is a uh, preliminary uh, assessment of co crystals of nicotinamide. Sorry, this a chemistry. Uh, I, uh, I said, uh, yeah, this uh, for, uh, related to chemistry. Yeah. Nicotinamide. <laughs> Quite difficult. <laughs> Not familiar for this. Uh, but, uh, but this uh, our speaker, our presenter today is a very good in uh, surface engineering. And yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and yeah, before we start, uh, just a little housekeeping before we get started. Uh, if you have any question during the presentation, please type them into the question box in your Zoom uh, panel, and I'll bring them up uh, during the presentation, and we'll also uh, have time for a question and answer and raise your hand to during this uh, question and answer uh, session. We have uh, a total is two hours and yeah. uh, Dr. Amiza, you can uh, yeah, depend on your presentation. <laughs> this, okay. That's why this, uh, and then, uh, yeah. And then we will first the, uh, uh, the presentation session and then uh, continue with uh, question and answer session. Okay. okay. Uh, then, uh, yeah. Now uh, we turn the time over to uh, Dr. Hamiza. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, very good afternoon, I think. In Malaysia, it's already uh, afternoon. And I, I think in ITS, it's also afternoon 3 3 30. Yeah. 3 30. It's about 1 1. One hour delay from us, I think. We yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Dr. Agung, and thank you very much, Amalia, for the arrangement of this presentation. Um, anyhow, um, uh, my background, as you can see, my background is supply chemistry, is in a chemistry, and then um, anyhow, we did. Uh, some research uh, with the engineers at uh, uh, the chemical engineering faculty at UITM. So 
there and here i have the idea a little bit about the surface uh, about the engineering part but what i'm going to present today is something that to bring the engineers uh, to think a little bit um about the chemistry sites in order to you to um and uh, in order to you to get uh, to get a link between this engineering and the chemistry uh, if you are a chemical engineer so between the chemists and this and um, chemical engineers and actually my background is industrial chemistry and that is our role to link between the chemists and these engineers okay so we start here with the with the title the root of surface engineering um, Why is not move? You see my my slide. Yeah, okay. Okay. So um, I start the slide with the question of this: How we get into surface engineering? How we um, because I try to I try to link the uh, the angle of thinking between um, uh, chemists and uh, engineers. So now I can get uh, no now uh, through my through my wait, I can I cannot see through my um, searching and then study about this a little bit about surface engineering surface engineering. Uh, please correct me if some of you have a different uh, angle of thinking what I have definition of the surface engineering so I can be defined is as the branch of science that deals with methods for achieving the desired surface requirements and their behavior and service for engineering components and um, what I try to now when I'm doing this what uh, um, I try to bring what I am thinking what I'm what I have thought to the or to all the audience so i think with uh, i start with um, what is surface what you understand about surface when you say it about surface engineering as engineers uh, normally we always apply apply we uh, start with the chemists doing the fundamental then we apply uh, but nowadays uh, most of the time um, uh, many research in engineering part during this pandemic uh, all over the world you can you all can do the research because the theoretical part is um is easier is can be done at at home but we as a camp uh, as a flight chemist most of the uh, our research should be done must be done at the lab so we cannot do research so that's why make me think what what uh, to give the something idea what is surface what affects surface chemistry and then from that oh i think we have the linkage we we make a link we make a bridge between this chemist from this uh, chemistry fundamental to the chemical to the engineers then we think from that surface approach we think uh, um, i think can we modify surface to what we need then when we say that we modify surface to what we need actually that is the things that is related to surface engineering and there are two fundamental approaches to improve improving performance first is modification of the existing surface by means of introducing additional atomic species case hardening ion implementation this is all is about these new technologies in research application of coating of a different material yes when we said about surface engineering the one of the big field that we we look into surface engineering is about coating so when we has what is surface engineering i keep thinking what is surface engineering and the purpose of surface it is the purpose of surface technology to produce functionally effective surface i got that then oh when you said about surface engineering most of them when you when you look at surface engineering two big field you can see that is about how you engineer the surface so how to engineer the surface is normally the surf you do the surface modification and surface coating actually surface coating is you engineered by sometimes you 
uh, you modified it through what? The surface modification and surface, co surface coating. One of the angle that uh, we have to look is what we call as surface functionalized. So fun surface functionalized is it is uh, related with these two, surface modification and surface coating. Okay. So next, next slide, wait. Why my slide is, sorry, my slide is quite slow for the, to the next slide. Okay. okay. So next, so we have to define what is surface and interface. So what is surface? Surfaces and interface is a boundary between a material and its surrounding environment and influence interaction with that environment. Normally, I always uh, uh, teach my students how what is the difference between surface and interface. It can be interchangeable, interchangeably when you read a research paper. You will find sometimes they just simply write surface, sometimes at interface, but uh, actually the big name is interface, the general name interface. Interface meaning you have two different faces and then that is the, the interface between two different faces or the same faces. What, what, what you can name as surface is something that related with the gas, gas the gas space, the air, for instance, with the liquid and gas that we call as a liquid surface solid and gas, gas molecule, gas, environment, air, then we call it as a solid molecule, a solid, solid surface. So, wait. It is a study of chemical phenomena that occur at the interface of two surfaces. At the beginning, when I, when I, at your age, I think, um, when we say about surface, normally we say, oh, that is just only a physical. There is a no chemical reaction, yes, on the surface. That is a chemical reaction that makes the surface day by day by technology. We get everything is because the announcement of the surface technology through the research. So it is a study of the chemical phenomena that occur at the interface of two surfaces, which can be between solid and liquid, solid and gas, solid vacuum, liquid gas, and etc. So it includes the field of, so because of that, because of the study, it includes the, field, the fields of space chemistry and surface physics. Yes, um, me at the chemistry, school of chemistry at UITM, um, we have, and then there are the school of physics. So my friend at other university, he thought about the surface also, but he, because he is a physics people, so he thought about the surface physics rather than me. The approach will be different. Sorry. The, the, the approach will be different, but the aims and the objective of what we're going to, um, we're going to teach is about the same. So, uh, some application of surface chemistry or surface, surface physics is more to, uh, is nearer to surface engineering, surface chemistry is the heart, is the fundamental up to the surface engineering. So some application of surface chemistry are known as surface engineering. How you engineer the surface using the understanding of surface chemistry, then we get the surface chemistry, surface engineering. And throughout modern industrialization, surface chemistry plays an indispensable role in various uh, industrial technologies such as chemical and energy conversion, information processing, Healthcare and material, yes, a lot. When you study about surface chemistry nowadays, with uh, with this pandemic, actually the 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 virus of COVID is at the so it, uh, the, the process that uh, the the phenol the mechanism happened is uh, through this um, surface of uh, through the virus on our surface then after that there is something happen the chemical reaction and then we get the uh, covid disease so that's why the surface chemistry the surface actually the uh, it's very important now after you understand the surface chemistry then the engineer how to how to how to improvise and how
uh, the surface according to what we want. Okay, the paramount importance of surface chemistry is reflected to the economic impacts and technologies. And then we have to know that this is this is the this is the um, uh, figure about this uh, on the surface. Hello. Okay, accumulation of species on higher concentration on the surface of a substance due to intermolecular force is known as adsorption. Now, I, I give you a little bit um, uh, hint about the root of my of what I said about the surface engineering. For example, gases such as hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen absorb on the surface of activated charcoal. So this is the char this is the this is the coal uh, surface uh, micrograph. So you, you can see on the surface itself, you can see where is coal, where is the water, and then where is the gas molecules as a whole, the surface is like this. And then this one you can see um, this is this is a cartoon that have been drawn to see to picturize to other people how the process of the surface actually happened. Okay. Sorry, this is quite um when I okay. What is surface? So now when we say about surface, when um I because so many surface we can say about liquid surface but I will emphasize to solid surface so ideal solid is automatically flat okay normally when we say ideal uh, ideal solid when you say about surface you can see it's flat it's a very smooth it's just automatically flat and chemically homogeneous in reality no such ideal surface no such smooth surface all the surface is not smooth it's not smooth in whatever consequences it is not smooth because i will see after that solid surface have surface roughness over varying length scale chemically heterogeneous or degree due to the presence of impurities of polycrystallinity differences that is a more to chemistry so um, as a layman you can think that what i can say that on the surface there uh, there there is something that make uh, under micro uh, uh, mic, uh, microscopically the surface is not smooth. So, what? How surface is surface? So normally when we say about surface, how surface is surface? What is the well? If we have um uh, sorry, if you have uh, some, I try to push. Only the top one layer of surface atoms and molecule surface. And then we say, okay, that is surface. When you see on your table, so you can touch your surface. And then after that, a few uh, millimeter of it, can you see it as a surface as well? So in practice, depend on the spectroscopy technique. Because this is the hand, the hand, the hand enhancement of spectroscopy technique. Because nowadays, um, how far that the instrument can detect the molecule that we call as a uh, the uh, the can measure and analyze the molecule that we we said that is a surface molecule surface atom can determine the chemical structure of the top to 10 atomic layer is about 0 0.5 to 3.0 nanometer and although book said that the surface is regarded as the top 100 nanometer of the solid surface but nowadays because of the enhancement of spectroscopy it is going to 0 0.5 to 3 nanometer so it's a very very thin layer of the surface that is what considered as surface rather than that we can call it as a bark we did not say it as surface so at present the range called intermediate layer between the bark and surface structure uh, i will show you um molecularly uh, how does it bark and surface structures looks like recent scientific solid surface layer with thickness such as top surface mono layer the surface film of 10 20 nanometer the first 10 layer or the surface film less than 100 nanometer so it's arguable and then if we read um throughout the research paper it based on the uh, technology of the instrument that that able to uh, measure the 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 top first layer is the the high the high uh, the smaller layers of uh, at the surface the the high technology of the instruments okay
Okay. Okay, so I will show you this is the okay, if you can um we can picture we we can we should think about the surface. So at molecular level, so when we sit about the surface, first we have to look at a molecular level. So this is if we can make is atoms. So atoms normally people pictureize it as a ball. So it's like uh, a circle like this. So this one, uh, this is what we I call this a bark. So it's a bark molecule, and the upper one I call as a surface atom. So. Um, and then you can see there is a cartoon say cartoons say that I can see the surface from here you can see the surface and vibration affects some atoms so vibration from the bark can affect to the surface atoms so the surface atom surface atom they have many properties the most important things they have surface uh, surface energy so the surface which bound the bulk matter is called the surface phase it acts as interface to the surrounding environment the bulk material in a solid is called as a bulk phase so at the molecular level the surface atom has a have a different chemical environment so you can see here you can see here i can put it if you can see my cursor now so this is what we call as a bulk atoms so this is the surface atom you can see for instance this this ball wait sorry this ball so this ball he is very rich uh, this ball okay this ball very rich because of what very rich and very uh, luck lucky because he has some he has friends around him he has a balance uh, forces around him he has everything around him but it's a pity for the surface atom because they just have someone that support them from the bottom not from the upper one yes from the side yes there is there is there is a friend left and hand left, left and right but there is no friend at the bottom and because of this the they have this what we call a surface energy so the structure and chemistry of the top layer of atoms or molecules are significantly determined by the atoms or molecule immediately below this implies that surface could be uh, the top two ten, 10 atomic or molecular layers. Atoms at the surface of metallic material are considered partly reactive to the environment because atomic configuration terminates at the surface. Due to the high surface energy, a single molecular layer readily formed on the solid surface where gas molecules are adsorbed at one. Okay, I will show you after this. Don't um, just relax, except now when I write absorb, you find now absorption, absorb. For example, in the presence of oxygen atom, oxygen and metal atoms chemically bond together to form an oxide layer. Oxide layer, now oxide layer, this is surface engineer, engineering. Engineers, very prone, very like to see, to, to settle this, this problem, the oxide layer. How I want to, to remove the oxide layer, which is, um, which is uh, resultant from the corrosion of the surface and so on. So this means that the surface composition of metal is different from its bulk composition in order of, uh, of nanometer. So at the molecular level, the surface atom have a different chemical environment. This is what I, this is what I show, uh, I told you just now. So this is the uh, uh, surface atom. You can see this atom have a diff is only one, two, three, friend but this atom have so many people uh, surrounding him and it's, they, it's very lucky because it's balanced everything he has everything but not for this so as a consequence this surface atom with change atomic and electronic structure exhibit high chemical reactivity that's why high chemical reactivity why because there is an excess because you can see you can think now you at this level you at this uh, level you can take the why because of the lack of interaction at the up the upper uh, or at the top of the surface atoms this surface atom will just like us they will ask someone to just come to them to have a connection to have interaction in order to reduce the 
energy because when they have the tangling like this, this is a tangling uh, uh, item that they have to ask someone just to complete the uh, the their force or balance their force at the surface. So this property makes surfaces interface a favored medium for chemical and biological processes in nature and in technological applications. Okay, so now, as I said just now, no surface is moved. So here, this is under micrograph. Um, uh, this is a micrograph from the, some is from um, scanning electron microscope, some from the TEM. So this is petal surface. You can see the petal very smooth and very soft. But under microscope, this is the surface. The surface is not smooth. There's an hilly surface with all this bumping uh, around uh, all over the surface. And this is the leaf surface. You, if you see that leaf is very smooth, that under microscope, you can see there is so many hill and there is so many um, hole at the leaf surface. This is eggshell surface, eggshell surface, eggshell is very, very smooth. Then under microscope, you can see there is so many holes on the surface of this eggshell surface. And this is a compact disc. The compact disc is very clean and very smooth surface. And then under microscope, you can see all this pore, all this uh, hole actually has had been um, had been exist on the surface of this compact disc. So always remember, ideally surface is smooth, practically no smooth surface. That is only ideally surface, okay? And because of this, actually we we, we have to thank God. Actually, the, if the surface if the the surface is smooth, we cannot engineer the surface. We need it not to be smooth. Yes, there is surface that we can engineer this uh, nowadays. Uh, with the smooth surface, uh, however, the surface itself, they must have that one thing, what we call as just now, a pore. So what is the process on the surface? So this is a process, uh, so this is what happened. The fundamental requirement of the material and the surroundings uh, physiological environment should coexist without having any undesirable effect on one another because the surface is the interface where the materials meet. Okay, remember, the surface is the interface where the material meet. Why the materials meet? Because, uh, because back to just have to, you have to remember the surface atom, the surface atom needs someone to make them stable, make someone to make them balance the force. So that's what, where the material meets and interact with the environment. The surface properties are the major factors that ultimately determine the rejection or acceptance of a matter on the subject. I will show you how the surface can reject or accept uh, of the matter on the substrate. So for example, the biological events that regulate host responses to materials such as protein adsorption and cell adhesion occur at the biomaterial tissue interface and are modulated by the physical chemical properties of the material. So you can see here there is, um, this is the photo of the surface coating. Uh, this is the bare materials and we have the primer and the finish coating in order to enhance the bare materials. Surface coating, the best example is paint. No, no one did not know what is paint. So we, we keep painting our house, we keep painting the, the, the wall, painting all the old surface in order to make the, um, the our house, our wall better. So this is surface modification, what you can see here. Um, okay, surface modification. So this is modified. This is your part. This is the India engineering engineer's part. As well, we as applied chemistry always do this. And modified poly polymer surface, this is a bare surface. And then we modified, we 
engineered the surface according to what we want to do. So this is poly dopamine coating and then plasma etching irradiation and this is when we put the hydroxyl on the top of the surface and grafting with the protein or peptide with this polymer and in, in this is an organic coating at the top of this polymer surface so if you see here everything this is surface functionalization so extraction of biomolecules from natural product and byproduct and we functionalize this then we get an uh, another new product with a new uh, properties and behavior that we can do uh, we can use we can utilize for other applications so everything of this actually what you can see is something that attach on the bare material on the surface you see this when i say surface coating is something that i attach like we will attach to something we attach to the surface surface modification we attach something to the surface then surface functionalization is about that we functionalize with attachment of something on the surface so So this is what um, what what I show you just now is surface modification, the surface coating, surface functionalization. It, this is all about. Uh, it's a part of surface engineering. Yeah, surface functionalization introduce chemical functional group to a surface. And, uh, by this uh, functionalization, material with functional groups on the surfaces can be designed from substrate with standard pulp material properties. Prominent example can be found in semiconductor industry and biomaterial research. Uh, okay, surface coating, any mixture of firm forming material plus pigment, solvent and other additives which when applied to the surface and cured or dried yields a thin film that is functional and often decorative. Okay, we always do this. This is what this is more to uh, decoration. If we do it uh, decoration purposes, if you do uh, painting our wall at home and so on. Even though nowadays people might not use paint to decorate their wall, the surface they might use this wallpaper. But that is that is understanding from the, that is enhancement of this um, surface. Uh, uh, surface knowledge as well. Surface coating includes paints, drying oil, varnish, synthetic clear coatings and other products whose primary function is to protect the surface of an object from the environment and then this is what I said on the surface whatever if you want to functionalize it if you want to modify it or you want to coat it you must know that the surface has energy. With this energy then you can give you can enhance, you can you can have that 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 uh, poor surface atom, not balanced um, atom. So surface free energy is a measure of the excess energy present at the surface of material in comparison to at its bulk and surface modification. We just say that it's a wide range of process leading to alteration of the surface chemistry or the surface morphology of given materials. So now, okay, surface functionalization. The functionalization is, is repeating from the before. I think I have uh, clarified about this. So this is uh, this slide shows some um, method that used for uh, surface functionalization method at lab. Uh, so this is surface roughening when you put a something subtract here, then surface here. When you do the surface coating, you will coat the sub, you will coat the substrate. This is substrate with something on it um, in order to whatever is uh, whatever application you desired. So this is ion bin uh, reposition substrate. This is the analysis surface patterning substrate. Uh, this is a substrate. Then you put something on it that is surface patterning for whatever application that you're going to do. This is multi-layer film deposition on the substrate. This is surface grafting using polymer. Okay. Okay. What you can see here. Okay. This is um, still wait. Okay, this is taxonomy of surface engineering. Uh, modification of the component surface with no compositional change. 
transformation hardening and this one i think you have done uh, you have studied it uh, at earlier of this uh, when you studied about this engineering and uh, for your subject the modification of the component surface involving compositional change and coating deposition so this is the taxonomy of surface engineering method this is the uh, main uh, taxonomy of surface engineering method which is this one coating deposited on the component surface involved with coating deposited from deposited from a solution of ion coating deposited in the liquid state coating deposited from a vapor coating deposited in the solid state okay so now we are going to interrelate between these two so you we we, we have already see the the the, prop, the what is on the surface we know what is surface engineering. We know that surface engineering is the purpose to enhance, involve enhancement or modify, modifying of certain properties of the surface of a component independently from those of the underlying substrate or this is surface material to enhance its property. So it is closely related to surface engineering which aims of modifying as we said just now. Surface chemistry can be roughly defined as the study of chemical reaction. From this chemical reaction, then you go to surface engineering. Uh, how you use a surface chemistry to surface understanding in order to modify uh, of the surface, modify the surface by what functional division of protein, so on. So this is application of this uh, surface um, of the surface modification in mineral fluidation and storage in the wastewater treatment and the petroleum industry. Okay, this uh, surface modification uh, possibility techniques just now is surface uh, functionalization, functionalization. So this is unmodified surface. You can coat it using solvent coating, grafted surface layer, metallization, plasma deposited, sprayed hydroxy, uh, hydroxy apatite. This is surface gradient by grafting. By using when you said about grafting, this is when you deal with polymer. Interpenetrating network or ion implant. This is self assembled film. This is self assembled film by Lang uh, Moy Blodgett overlayer. This is by this chemical reaction have been done on the surface. How these things, this polymer can tangling on the top of the surface is by self assembly technique. So, surface active bulk add the, uh, additive, low molecular weight. This is the polymer. Surface chemical reaction by oxidation fluorination and salinization this is can be this is if salinization if you can see here this is initial initially on the surface we have this uh, oh this is a hydroxyl but now when you do this modification you can see there is another compound that um, interact with this oxygen this uh, this is the this is what silent uh, this is what we call uh, I will um, call what we call as addition promoter we will see after this so etching and roughening the etching and roughening polyelectrolyte multi-layer films this is what I, uh, I give you now the idea about how to modify possibility techniques that to surface modification okay Polymer brushes. This is a very good uh, research uh, about the how to put polymer on the surface based on the conformation of the polymer tails on the surface because the different conformation of the poly polymer tail and head on the surface will be different properties and tanala behavior of the end product. Okay, so this is etching treatment, electron beam etching, electrochemical etching. This is deposition process based on electrochemical deposition and so on. Okay, when we said, so now this is the root. When we said about surface in our, in, uh, in when we said about surface, the main idea that you really have to understand, it is about absorption. It is about absorption. If you can see every of the method just now, 
surface modification, surface functionalization, you always say that something that you have substrate and then something that you add on the substrate. When you something that you add on the substrate, that is what we call adsorption. So the root of of the surface actually the adsorption adsorption is purposely for the surface phenomenon if you say absorption that is in the bug it's happened in the bug but if you say the bug surface it is really an adsorption so if you want to functionalize your surface if you want to modify your surface you have to know how to adsorb something on your surface okay so if from this picture you can see this is a substrate this is a surface which we can picturize it as a ball that re that arranged in this very good pattern and then this is what we call a substrate or surface and this is a substance in um uh, in gas or liquid phases okay in a gas or liquid phase so uh, as a definition, what is adsorption? The surface of solid or liquid has a tendency to attract and retain molecules of other species. Why I have to attract? Remember, I, earlier I have said that the surface atom they are very poor. They don't have, they 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 lack of um some uh, they lack of one ball at the top. So that's why they need something. They need another ball in order to make them balance. They are not really balanced because they are not have a balanced interaction at all uh, direction of of uh, of the of the surface. So the phenomenon of attracting and retaining molecules on the surface. This is what called as adsorption. This is a uh, lat. Let is come from Latin word sabia to suck up. I don't know whether my pronunciation is right or not, but you can Google how to uh, pronounce sabia. I try to find it out actually uh, quite 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 uh, sometimes how to pronounce sabia, but I didn't find it anyway. So uh, the history for absorption from the early days of using uh, this is uh, for absorption. Actually the idea of absorption you can see from the Egypt era when you when you see all this uh, all the women with this um, uh, with this um, with the lipsticks and then with this eyeliner on their face that is about absorption so from the early days of using boncha for decolorization of sugar this is the history of the absorption for decolorization of sugar solution and other foods to the later implementation of activated carbon for removing nerve gases from the battle phase so to today thousands of application the absorption phenomena has become a useful tool for purification and separation that is about the history of absorption so the mechanism of absorption involves separation of substance from one phase accompanied by its accumulation on concentration and surface okay we will see this one if you don't understand this one it's okay by time we try to understand this so this one there is an absorption when we say about an absorption remember it's only all the at the surface how surface of the surface we already see in the earlier uh, my presentation is based um it is um the depths the most depths of the surface they can say 10 100 nanometer but the least is 0 0.5 to 3 nanometers it's based on the instrument that you use the highest uh, uh, highest technology of that instrument the better um, uh, the least uh, surface that you can um, measure so this is positive or negative absorption so there's two type of uh, absorption here um, in terms of in terms of uh, molecule at the surface remember absorption involves this uh, attracting and retaining molecule on the surface so if the molecules at the surface have high concentration of molecule at the surface is higher compared to the bug this is what we call positive absorption so but if the molecule in the bug is higher than 
the concentration of molecule at the bar is higher than the surface, then we call as a negative absorption. Okay, so whatever is about uh, sometimes uh, people can people can say that negative absorption is absorption. It might be yes or might be no, based on the. Um, uh, for me, yes, negative absorption. Sometimes you can call is um, absorption, but how you define the the surface, the 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 length of the surface, the molecule, if whether zero point three to uh, zero point five to three nanometer, we call as surface. So meaning, if hundred nanometers, then it's not surface anymore. That is in a bar. So that is based on the definition. But however, there is the positive absorption, meaning the concentration of the this one the concentration of the molecule on the surface is higher rather than the uh, at the bar uh, at the bar so next um which why so engine at the surface through absorption so what we're going to do now we have done we, we know what is surface engineering we know what is surface so now we know that actually what happened on the surface is one big process that you have to really understand what we call as absorption. So now we are going to engineer the surface through the absorption. So we actually have two type of, uh, just now you said that if, uh, I said that if the concentration of the molecule at the surface higher than we call a positive absorption, uh, positive absorption, but uh, absorption itself, there is two types of absorption. One we call as chem um, physical absorption. I will show you this one. Oh, and this one we call as physical absorption, and the other one we call as chemical absorption. Physical absorption we call as physical and chemical absorption we call chemisorption. Bear in mind, my students always make this mistake. They just write absorption. A B A B is different with A D A D absorption. Absorption only happen to the surface, but absorption A B happen to the bar. So there is two type of absorption of the molecule or to the surface. What we call as physical absorption and chemical absorption. So physical absorption is the process of mechanically, mechanically, mechanically locking up molecules in other solid materials. So the material attached to the surface. This is substrate. I call substrate. Eh, but this is surface. This is substrate. The things that you're going to, uh, the 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 the, the face, the substrate, the substrate lah, the substrate that you're going to put something on it. So the interaction between a surface and absorbent is relatively so this one this molecule that absorb the process of absorption the phenomenon is absorbed this, this molecule absorb on the surface is very weak that's why we call like absorption a kind of absorption which attached to the target substance on the chip as a result of hydrogen bonding van der Waals forces or electrostatic forces and hydrophobic interaction very weak but if we call as a chemical absorption this is from the names implies it involves the chemical bonds a kind of absorption which involves a chemical reaction between the surface and the absorbate the process is bad when we say about the chemical reaction so meaning this is the substrate then the substrate the molecule that come to the substrate attached to the substrate absorb to the substrate by, um, by chemical bond like us like human beings we can talk to with our friend if we have the chemistry with them it's a very selective right so it's happened it's the same the same concept with when we said a chemisorption is something that when you want to do the chemical bond onto the surface, the the, the reaction should, will be very selective. So here, uh, material specificity variation between substrate of different chemical composition for uh, chemisorption, substantial variation between materials, slight dependence upon substrate composition. So for your information, at any surface, at any surface, there is phase desorption. Phase desorption always happens. 
but chem resorption, um, it's, it's a very selective because just like us, you cannot talk, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot talk for one hour, one hour with other people if you don't have the chemi the chemistry with them. It's happened like this. So chem resorption, that's why it's very selective. So and because at them, because of that, this chem resorption, the temperature range virtually unlimited, but a given molecule may effective absorb only over a small range. Near uh, phase absorption, we just need a very, um, very low absorption enthalpy. But for chem absorption, of course, because the chemi uh, chemical chemical bond has to be uh, has to link on the surface, so it will evolve a very high enthalpy. So nature of absorption often dissociative and maybe irreversible. Saturation uptake limited to one molecule. Okay, here is a very 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 interesting. Just now you can see here. Okay. You can see uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is a very important when we said about chem absorption just now. So we have this substrate. Okay, I said that at any level of surface the field absorption can be happen, but for the chem absorption it's a very selective. But you have to, uh, we have to say here that when we say that blue is surface molecule, green is active site, meaning active site, this is the active site, meaning this site can do a chemical bond with something come to here, material that come to here. So this orange is a gas molecule that want to landing to the surface, land to the surface. So orange and green molecules, when they have this chemistry, so they will make chemical bond and that's why we will form new molecular species on the surface and we get a different uh, properties of this. We have modified the surface according to this chemical uh, re uh, reaction of chemical bond. So we have to know here that uh, this, uh, the interesting is chemisorption uh, or chemisorption is a process resulting from a chemical bond between adsorbate, adsorbate meaning this is the um, this is the adsorbate what we call this is adsorbate this molecule that this ball that want to land on this surface this is what we call adsorbate and specific surface location on a material this is what we call as active site this interaction is much stronger than physical adsorption which take place on all surface chem absorption okay uh, the chem absorption when we said about surface from the early of our discussion our presentation my presentation we should know that anything when we surface you want to modify it or you want to functionalize it you must make sure your surface must be very clean must be very clean, meaning there is a no other contaminants of pollutants that have on the surface. If you have other contaminants of pollutants, you can modify, you cannot modify or functionalize your surface according to what you want. Because that contaminant or pollutant will have, might have a chemical bond with your uh, this adsorbate then you will have a different types, you will have a different properties or behavior of the surface. So this is uh, how the surface uh, uh, adsorption uh, happen, the mechanism, as I said, uh, we have said just now, this is the molecule that attract on the surface, this is our surface, this is uh, what I said, this is the surface uh, atoms, then the surface atoms, they don't have um, enough balance force that's why they want to attract other molecules come from the air and then attract them and then make a make a make a link uh, make a absorb make a process of absorb the absorb on the surface one is absorbed then it will retain on this okay so absorption occurs because of the present in a solid liquid the molecule present the bulk attracted equally this is what i've explained just now so, so, surface interaction for surface engineering. Okay, this is uh, a little bit uh, depth about this um, surface because we cannot say that, we cannot simply say that this only the theory of surface is about 
understanding of that surface uh, surface um, energy then the unequal balance of force on the surface but we have to know that actually on this uh, what will happen on the surface um, interaction of this uh, if you want to do this surface engineering remember when we want to do this surface engineering meaning you are going to modify it or functionalize it so when you want to modify or functionalize it or coating it you have to make you have to do something that something something that will come to our surface so we have to know a little bit what is actually what what is actually what we name as interaction that that will have on that surface so there is one interaction what we call as van der waal interaction van der waal interaction is very if uh, if in malaysia if you go to tool we have the what we call as touch and go or smart tech it's a very weak interaction just 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 like that just just you have the, the attachment of interaction not nothing there is nothing will will happen just you after a minute after that you forgot oh, what 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 you have done to the to uh, if you meet someone just like what i say just touch and go you meet someone oh you can uh, i saw you at the uh, you you just saw like if you want you have um, you go to um, you go to market and then there are so many people there and you look uh, each of the people at the market you just look at that you just look at that you look at them you just look at them you don't know them you did not you don't know to stare at them just that is what that is uh, that is what uh, that is uh, similar what we we can see as a van der waal interaction intermolecular forces the two molecules of the same material brought together the non bonding electrons of both overlap each other and result in the repulsive so uh, the van der waals force is yeah what i said just just now is van der waals force so van der waals interaction it you it can have interaction by this non bonding electron of both overlap each other and result in the repulsive force due to the presence of the surface electron okay at the surface the bare electron why it can we can modify or functionalize it because because of this electron this electron the the chemical doing this chemical bond or physical uh, physical bond at the surface this it is because of electron that is that that is about chemistry maybe some of you if you are in the last uh, year doing this engineering that is something that um, Oh, I have to remember back what is actually electron and the, how this electron interact and then um, form a chemical um, the chem chemistry on this uh, chemistry. So this right now you have to know that uh, any things that you want to make a chem uh, bonding. So this is about the electron. You have to know about the electron and so on. But we won't go to in depth. So when two atoms get too close, they strongly repel each other. And three main forces. This is what the distance they went to. We have two uh, molecule. Uh, when they come get close together, they strongly repel each other. Three main forces uh, that exist is force between two permanent dipole, what we call as schism forces, and forces between a permanent dipole and induced dipole. Uh, dipole. This is what meaning by force between two permanent dipole. This is if we have this light here, you see my cursor, and this is one. Um, this is what we call A, and this one called B. A have uh, A have charge positive and negative. B positive and negative. They come together because of the charge, and then this is what me, what mean by kissing forces. But for W forces induced dipole. This mean come when we have okay. Let's say if this uh, uh, this this um, atom this ball have charge positive and negative, and this is no charge. But they when they come together, this this ball this this A and B this B ball will have charge the induced charge because of this A. So they get attracted because of the because of the charge of from A. When they come together, so force between two instantaneously induced dipole. This so this is when they when we have so many atoms, so they will induce uh, this. Actually, this B get the charge from A, and then come C, C get charge from 
become D, D get charged from C and so on. This is what called London dispersion force. So, and then we have, uh, when we want to make, uh, to, uh, to do this um, functionalization modification, we have to understand electric double layer. Electric double layer, I think you have studied, uh, you have touched it when you study about electrochemistry, electrostatic forces. Um, they pull or push on objects without touching them. This is electric double layer because on each of the molecule, each of the atoms or molecule have charge. So there is another one. We, uh, this is based, electric double layer is based on DLVO, DLVO theory. This is based on the uh, four names of um, scientists that we cover this theory. And this is uh, from this surface interaction, you have to know this is the this is the curve of repulsion and this is the curve of interaction. It's okay, you don't have to really go into this, but this is what I want to show you what, will, what you have to be ponder when you do the surface engineering. When you do surface engineering, you got the data, then how you want to discuss it. So you have to look, you have to be ponder about why, 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 why this happened on the surface? Why not this? Why I can modify this using this compound, not the other compound? So you have to know that the, a little bit about, uh, you have to give a reason and then the reason should come from the understanding about a little bit about the Van der Waals interaction, the traffic double layer and non-DLVO. Non-DLVO interaction is interaction such, such as hydrophobic effect, steric force, depletion force, we see after that polymer bridging interaction and hydrogen force uh, as, um, instead of other forces that due to the charge that belong to the uh, atoms or molecules. Okay, so the link, surface modification, surface chemistry and surface functionalization. So surface treatment of material offers the ability to improve material through changes in material surface chemistry, addition of material or reliable junction to the surface. Surface modification should provide the instinct property of interaction with molecules of the environment. And surface chemical composition is an important surface characteristic in the design of material because it determines which functional groups are available for interaction with the substrate. Remember, when I said about adsorption just now, we have that chem absorption. If you want to do this functionalization on the surface, you have remember that is you dealing with chemisorption, chemical absorption. You want to take another materials to absorb on your substrate. So you must know whether that material can, can, can do the chemistry with the substrate or not. Or in, what, uh, in, uh, in, in the other angle, you, can, you, should, you should think that whether the functional group or uh, on the surface can respond to the material with, which is have a, a functional group as well on the on its surface whether they they both of this functional group from the substrate and the uh, material uh, from the uh, absorbent but they can communicate or not if they can communicate i could uh, unquote communicate meaning they can make they, you can functionalize your surface. If not, you cannot functionalize your surface because you you have wrongly put um, mat, uh, uh, wrongly put material that uh, material that functionalize your 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 surface. So by tailoring the functional groups available at the material surface, the surface compatibility, surface electrical charges, and free energy will also be altered. So this is, you have to know this, what we call as type of surface. We have a hydrophilic surface and hydrophobic surface. Nowadays, we have super hydrophobic surface uh, based on this. When we said about hydrophilic surface, hydrophobic surface, you have to know uh, the types of surface because of just now, when we said about modification of functionalized of your surface, it based on your type of surface, whether uh, whether it is hydrophilic or hydrophobic. There is another name. Actually, it is hydrophilic surface. If the surface pro have the affinity, have prone to interact 
with this water. But actually, uh, the name, uh, the general name for this hydro, uh, hydro this is for water hydrophilic. But for for the solvent, if uh, the materials prone to that like to that solvent, we call as lyophilic, lyophilic and lyophobic. Uh, that is a general name so because uh, lyo meaning is a solvent. So if your solvent is water, then you know name is hydrophilic. If your solvent is alcohol, then you call it alcophilic. Uh, so because of uh, many research involved with this hydrophilic and hydrophobic surface, we always uh, forgot about actually the main, the general name of this is about is the name uh, as a lyophobic and lyophilic. So lyophobic and lyophilic surface. So this is hydrophilic and hydrophobic surface. So hydrophilic surfaces contain hydrogen bond receptor. Wow, well, I don't know. I'm ingenious. I'm not really they know, but I know your engineers. I deal with the engineers. They know about the hydrogen bond very well. Uh, electron, uh, uh, electron neutral do not contain hydrogen bond donors and receptors. So the hydrophobic interaction describe the relation between water and hydrophobes. Hydrophobes are non-polar molecules and usually have a long chain of carbon that do not interact with water molecule. Then there is another one. So when we said about hydrophilic surface, hydrophobic surface, you have to know this is what we call as there is a one phenomena that you, uh, there is one rules, what we call a like dissolve like. For instance, why water and all cannot be mixed together? Because if you can see here, water at the top of water, you can see at the surface of water, the molecule, uh, the, it is a polar molecule. So you have O and H. H, O and H. O and H is a polar molecule. So this is what, like, what this is one big rule, what we call like dissolve like. Polar molecule like to dissolve like to uh, dissolve with polar molecule. Polar molecule don't like non-polar molecule. Now, now you can see that all layer is a non-polar molecule. How I know this is non-polar molecule? Remember, if it is something that you see that with the oxygen, with the nitrogen or fluorine, that is normally, normally, not most of the research is about this oxygen, nitrogen, that, that is polar molecule, polar, polar molecule, uh, polar molecule. So when you have, you have this oxygen or nitrogen, um, so you can see, oh, I got this polar molecule. Okay, but if you have this uh, long chain with uh, hydrocarbon, meaning this carbon and hydrogen, this might be, this is uh, organic molecule. Okay, there is organic molecule that we have uh, C, H, and O, this carboxyl or the carboxylic, carboxylic or ether or ester, ester functional group. But that is through this, uh, the, the interaction is through um, hydrogen bond. So hydrogen bond, what does it mean by hydrogen bond? Meaning oxygen with this oxygen with the other molecule, this is hydrogen. See this, this dot between oxygen and hydrogen, this one molecule of water, one molecule of water, this molecule of water interact with this molecule of water through this hydrogen bond. But this oxygen cannot do this hydrogen bond to here or cannot do anything to here because of there is no, 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 no way that they want, they can, they can uh, interact. Okay, so there is another one, what we call as um, uh, sil uh, silent, silent, silent surface. It will act in the interface region, the area between an organic and organic substance. Bond, um, and acts at bonding or bridging agent to improve the addition between the two dissimilar method, uh, material. Oh, oh, now you name, you find the other one. The other, the other words, what we name, what I call as addition. Just now it's absorption, but now it's addition. Actually, this is more to you rather than us. Addition is more uh, popular to engineers uh, rather than um, rather than ra more, more popular to engineers. For us, it's okay. We know we 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 know about addition, but addition is 
to uh, specific but for education actually the field is quite big uh, that this one is very important in the surface specialization and surface modification so we have silent surface if that is as a bridging if we have this the uh, the material that cannot bind to hydrophilic and hydrophobic surface so we have to have something that as a linkages between this hydrophilic and hydrophobic uh, this um, or the, the surface so this is the mechanism okay i want to show it mechanism of absorption so this is a cartoon that i have draw so when there is an absorption happen e, you have to know it is because of this is the this is the solid uh, surface and then we have this uh, the, we have this gas molecule that will absorb on this solid surface remember i said that the surface is not smooth the surface is very very here you you see it's a very um, it's, it's a very ugly it's not that smooth just one line that you say it's surface no surface has four so every surface has four even our face our face is our surface our face has four because of because of um, because of you not uh, really take care of your face you did not wash it so all this dirt will log into the pore of your face then you will get that what we call as uh, what we call as uh, pimples okay so this is a pressure given so when you want to do the absorption what will happen is you have to have this in a closed system you have to have this um, pressure in order this molecule to absorb on the surface so if you have higher temperature what will happen to the absorption is it the molecule can absorb on the surface or not when you increase the temperature so the molecule get more kinetic energy and the absorption will not happen so you have to make sure in the absorption phenomena it is a very important to relate is what we call as thermodynamic so when you study you are you are engineering uh, engineering student doing this heat uh, transfer everything so you are very good in understanding about thermodynamic so here it's easy to understand actually the absorption for you so pressure given so you have to give the pressure to to the to this molecule this is for instance this is a gas molecule in order to uh, absorb on the surface so how much this is molecule what we call absorb it if the molecule is uh, this is the molecule of gas and we call as absorbate and then condensation of gas molecule at temperature and pressure for absorption so it will uh, it will absorb on the surface so the surface have four so this is four all the surface have four whether the pore is small or big if it's normally some of the uh, they will say that non-porous meaning pore non-porous surface meaning the pore is very very big macro porous or big, very big very big and the depth is quite the depth is very shallow then they they call it as a non-porous however it is a pore whether it's shallow it is something that is not straight that is what we call pore, uh, pore. so what is a specific surface because when you have um so we have pour, you have pour, the pore is actually the pore itself will increase the surface area of our surface so increase if one line the surface will be very surface area very low but if you increase the surface area and uh, the pore of your surface then we call uh, the surface area will be increased okay what is surface energy so you know okay so now i want to tell you about surface energy before we go to another part so surface energy will be higher if the bulk interaction are stronger or if the surface exposure is greater so um, in the bulk form of a material atoms are generally stable and have a balanced set of bonds and interaction this is by atom in contrast the surface atom will have an incomplete
complete or unbalanced is we keep saying about this. So surface energy can be defined as the energy required per unit area to increase the size of the surface and as such is often quoted in unit uh, millinewton per meter. This is um, this is a very academic um, definition of surface energy. So a surface we always try. So what will happen actually uh, surface free energy is a measure of the excess energy. As I said earlier, the excess energy present at the surface of material in comparis comparison to at its bulk. So surface energy is a relative measurement of the energy at the surface which is a result of the incomplete bonding, as we said before. It is positively correlated to the strength of bulk interaction and the level of surface exposure. Because uh, this surface uh, energy, if uh, the bulk will, um, will uh, contribute how 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 strong is the surface energy of these uh, atoms. If the bulk give pressure to the atom at the surface, so the surface energy of the atom at the surface will be high. Okay, a surface we always try and minimize its energy. Of course, anything, nobody like us, everybody try to reduce um, our stressful because stressful is an is, is, when you stress you have so you you will use so many energy so this why it's again a surface you always try and minimize its energy this can be done by absorbing a material with a lower energy onto its surface through the absorption process the number of exposed surface atoms with high surface energy are minimized and replaced with lower energy atoms or molecules Liquids will often have lower surface energy than solid due to the weak forces um, between molecules, which is why liquids usually spread out because this is the understanding of uh, surface energy, the surface energy of this the surface energy. So we will go to another part what we understand of this. Absorption to adhesion. So, normally, um, um, maybe you always use adhesion rather than absorption. Adhesion process of attachment of a substance to the surface of another substance. It looks like that it is absorption as well. But there is adhesion have friend, adhesion have pair, adhesion the pair is cohesion, adsorption the pair of adsorption is desorption. Oh, I forgot to tell you what is desorption. So adhesion requires energy that can come from chemical or physical linkages. The latter being reversible when enough energy is supplied. That's why we have to know about the surface energy because the uh, because of in order to understand this about adhesion adhesive any substance that is capable of holding material together bond in a functional manner by surface attachment that resists separation so in other way around we can say that if we have this surface we have the surface so we have adhesive just now i call as adsorbate that is from the chemical approach but now you know that this adhesive any substance that capable of holding material together that is adhesive and this this one uh, adhesive adhesive force oh, this is cohesion force and this adhesive adhesive force Adhesion force. Then we have two. One we call adhesion force. The other one is cohesion force. That's why I said the pair of adhesion is cohesion. So a bond developed from the absorption of adhesive molecule on the substrate and the resulting attractive forces usually designated as secondary or van der Waals forces. So for the forces to develop, the respective surfaces must not be separated more than several m strong in distance. So there is there is terms and condition for this or also anything when you do something we have term and condition so for is happen this is the terms and condition must not be separated more than several m strong in distance so the absorption theory state that adhesion result from molecular contact between two materials 
and the surface forces that develop. Therefore, the adhesive must make intimate. The word is intimate. I try to find it out. Uh, many articles through online and then from the research paper and review paper as well. It always, right, when we say it about adhesion, this would come intimate molecular contact with the substrate surface, meaning it's really, really can do the chemisorption molecular contact with the substrate surface. So here we can see that with this adhesion, we have this cohesion. So from the cartoon, you can see that this is the water molecule. This this is this small water molecule is hanging um is hanging to the substrate. So this is substrate. What you can see is like a rope, a substrate, and then it's hang here. And these two of water molecule um um bind together by this is cohesion force. But this molecule can uh, absorb on the substrate because of the adhesion force. It is a, it is a force. Okay, the force that happen on the absorption uh, during the absorption process. Okay, addition for surface engineering. The bonding of an adhesive to an object or surface is the sum of number of mechanical, physical, and chemical forces that overlap and influence one another. So it is required two type of bonding. Actually, when I write throughout the molecule, uh, there is a one one books about about this mechanism of addition. It says that actually there is another uh, there is a. The other one is my, uh, chemical bonding, physical bonding, and there is a mechanical, mechanical. But that's mechanical is overlapping between physical bonding and chemical bonding. Actually, this chemical bonding and physical bonding is um, also um, overlap substrate uh, in this uh, addition force mechanism. So uh, this chemical addition is chemical bonding is a form of adhesive bonding involving a reaction that result in covalent bonds between the molecules of the adhesive and the surface material. The surface material now, before this I call a substrate, but now we take surface material. Okay, there are some paper, uh, some article name is as adherent, adherent. So adhesive, that is just now it's bit, this adhesive and the surface material. So primary mode bond, a bond that forms between atoms and that involve the exchanging or sharing of electrons. So uh, such a bond is ionic, covalent or metallic bond. And secondary bond rely on the mechanical linking of an adhesive to a material. For instance, hydrogen bond and van der Waal, van der Waal bonds. Now you can see when, when I said about the physics option just now, the process, the physics option involved with the van der Waals. Van der Waals is a very weak bond. But now that's why I said when we see about this addition, the chemical addition, uh, the chemical addition for the secondary bond, actually this secondary bond um, rely on the mechanical linking of an adhesive to a material. It's, it deal with Van der Waals bond. This is a very weak bond, but we it is under chemical addition because that's why I say it, it is uh, it is uh, overlapping between the chemical bonding and physical bonding in the mechanism of this addition. So there is another. Actually, this is, there is a no direct. There is a no um, certain definition of addition. Uh, but there is a theory of addition that uh, established, uh, there is six theory of addition that established. One is a chemical addition, the other one is weak boundary layers of this substrate. We know that uh, beginning, uh, start with the understanding of we have surface, then we have surface, then we want to adhere someone on the surface through the absorption process, so that the process of addition um, the addition force so you want to do something then but you want to adhere adherent between this um uh, this is the adhesive between uh, the upper one and the lower one um however there is something prop uh, there is something um something make that when you when you adhere these two things this two, this let's say two plate. This two plate is easy to fracture. This is easy to 
uh, it's easy to um, easy to but easy to separate between each other. So this is this is what we call weak boundary layers theory. Purposes that clean surface. Remember when we do the absorption, we have to the chemical absorption, especially the surface must be very very clean. Because it can give strong bond to adhesive, but some contaminants. Because if not clean, uh, uh, in the early earlier I have said that the the contaminants or pollutants will um, will interrupt the process of absorption. So weak boundary layers can occur in the adhesive or adherent if an impurity concentrate near the bonding surface and forms a weak attachment to the substrate. So there, there is another uh, theory of addition, what we call as physical or and mechanical addition theory. That's why when we say about um, addition is about the theory that um, that that can we use in order to uh, functionalize or functional uh, uh, modify the surface. So mechanical internal uh, we call as mechanical interlocking. So remember, we said I just said that the surface is not smooth. the surface is full of pore. It's many the the surface have pore. So what the idea is mechanical interlocking is by they make uh, the surface rough surface. So uh, if you have surface, you want to modify it or you want to uh, modify the surface, you want to enhance the surface uh, um, application. So what you did is you have to um, you have to increase the surface area of uh, of the uh, the surface area of the surface how to increase the surface area one of that one of the one of the traditional um, method is by make the surface rough so they make the surface rough by traditional is using by sand glass um, this is you have you have uh, used this for long time sand, uh, sand blasting so your surface will rough not surface, not not smooth anymore so by technology, it can use plasma treatment, flame, corona discharge, laser, microwave, and so on. So the penetration of adhesive into the pores, cavities. Okay, some people call it cavities. I think for you, you call it cavities. But, but uh, cavities is pores. And other surface, the adhesive penetrating into the surface roughness of two adherents can bond the two, uh, bond the two, um, the two materials so this is a substrate of aluminium oxide substrate and then uh, they're going to interlock the copper particle on the surface of aluminium oxide substrate so this is from the nanoscale research letter paper 2016 so that means by mechanical interlocking from the names implied that you lock something on the surface by rough the surface so you can rough the surface by using the sand blasting or by technology using plasma treatment and so on so this is what I mean by mechanical interlocking so next uh, a theory is diffusion theory you sometimes you cannot do this uh, diffusion of molecules through water layer this is between this is for for instance, this one substrate solid and the solid, then you uh, solid and uh, and liquid, then the liquid will solidify onto the surface. Then you can coat the surface by mechanical interlocking. But sometimes when you deal with this water layer and something, you cannot do. Uh, you you want to absorb, you want to adhere or absorb something on the surface that, that the one that you adhere is. Um, is a polymer you cannot do this because the polymer will have the conformation different conformation the surface so so we need this theory of the, uh, this approach what we call a division theory this theory suggests that addition is developed through the inter diffusion of molecules in and between the adhesive and adherent adherent this is substrate the diffusion theory is primarily applicable when both the adhesive and adherent are polymer with relatively long chain molecule capable of movement